Hello ladies and gentlemen, we're Lotus here, and today we're playing a game of Irelia in the top lane. We are back after approximately 3.7,492 million. That's not even the right order to put numbers in, but the point is it's been a very long time. No, I have all the items I want. Uh, so we are going to be playing top lane Irelia, which I might have already said today. Um, anyway. So, the way this works is, um... We're in lane against Alawi, and even though she doesn't have a keystone, she's still just going to destroy us until about level 4, when I really hits her lane power spike and can do something. Uh, the rest of our team looks like it's Namumu who will be facing up against Shako, 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 Shako Neil. Um, I don't know how to say it. Then we have Brand who will be facing Fizz, Lucian who will be facing, 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 facing Miss Fortune. And Sona will be facing Thresh. So, um, as we all know, that, uh, wait. Okay, back on thing. So, as we all know, Thresh killed Lucian's better half, but what he left behind was a dangerous enemy. Well, in fact, that's a unique taunt between the two champions. Looks like our support stone to start with their Dorn's ring, so I guess she's going for that early harass. Um, hopefully she doesn't fall far behind in money, because that would be would be no good. So as I did say, winning against Alawi is just not a thing you want to ever do, because it's just a pain. Um, you basically lose lane. In similar fashion to the way you lose lane to Heimerdinger. Um, because you just can't really, f there's no good time to fight Alawi, except for right when she gets back to lane and doesn't have a lot of tentacles. Yeah. So that's, that's that. So she's probably just going to do everything she can to freeze this. Ooh, she's going to miss her, um, E. I don't know what it's called, but she missed it, so that's good. And, as you can see, I'm missing a lot of minions. But that's okay. Because she's been so intent on trying to deny me minions, and, like, save her tentacles and whatever, that she hasn't really gotten a whole lot of minions herself. So even though we obviously don't like being denied, she isn't exactly at any surplus herself. And soon this minion wave will push towards me to the point where I can safely farm these without getting... Well... Monstrous hentai abusive kill me attack. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Yeah, now I'm cursed. Lovely. This champion is very fun to play against. Ow. So much fun. Yeah, I actually happen to hate playing against Lowie. Um, fun fact, I find the champion extremely frustrating to play against. That's why you just get harassed so much. Now I'm just gonna get recursed. Nice. Looks like the instant I'm uncursed. Oh, look at that, I'm cursed again. Great. Wonderful. The only, um, positive is that she has no mana. That was a very interesting flash in her part. So, anyway, um, about that outplay did there. When she attacked me and I was under tower, I stunned her. So she'd take tower shots. And then... Shooting you lazy tower? No, what? How is he not in tower range? Wow, I am salty. How the heck was he not in tower range? That makes no sense to me. Anyway. Get greedy. Get greedy.
Wow, those were all dead. Never lucky. Alright, I have to flash her to dodge the Lowry Q. So, yeah. I guess I'm just gonna back now. What else to do? Alright, so they're just gonna beat up on fake brand, but that's not a huge deal. Um, I'm just gonna back here and head to lane after that interesting series of events. <clears throat> anyway, let's get back into this. We are 1-1-0, one, one oh, but since Alawi is 0-1-0, oh, oh, we are doing better than her anyway. And Omumu! Get <laughs> Oh my god, this Omumu. So, like, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the term living on the edge, but, um... When it comes to living on the edge, this Umumu is like an all pro edge liver. I don't know. I don't know what you call that. But he's living very edgily. How the heck did he do that so quickly? I mean, he flashed, so, like, you know. But that was a very quick combo. What the heck? Why did I run this way? I thought it would have passed past the tower. Oh, well. You are a very dead lady. That was a very stupid choice of you. Looks like Shaco is still here. I'm not gonna go hunt him down, because that's just a waste of time. He's just gonna... Shaco me. Do as much damage as he can until I'm not feared from his boxes and just queue away. This, um... Anyway. So, back into uh, this lane. Now, 2-1. and one Against a very... Very stupid Alawi. Um... And now, stupid is something that's mean to say and I'd never say it to her because I don't want to offend her. But she's just such a poor decision maker. Constantly, I guess, trying to force the issue. More or less. Allow we generally perform as well against Irelia, so that could be where her confidence stems from. But when you are 0-2, no matter how good someone tells you the matchup is, I strongly recommend you play very carefully. Because no matter how ahead you're supposed to be, if you're behind, you're behind. Ooh, looks like Ben's gonna play with me next game. Nice. Nice of you. What? She's not... Oh my, Kappa. I'm shocked that she isn't dead. Why? Am I... No, okay. Oh god, could have died there. I should back before Shaco comes to kill me. I don't know where Shaco is, so I have to assume he's here. And if I have to assume he's here, that means he's going to be able to kill me. So I'm gonna pick up my sheen and my boots. And then... Also a pink ward. And then that'll be that. And I'm gonna head back out to lane. So unfortunately... Um, I was not able to kill Alawi there, and as sad as it is that Alawi lived, it's not a huge deal. Because now when I come back to lane with all of my health, I'm just going to be able to kill her once my ultimate is up. And if she doesn't die, it's because she'll have flash out. Either way, it puts me at an advantage. Because her ultimate has a longer cooldown than mine, I believe. Well, that was unfortunate. So, just gonna chase her off there. Um. Show her that I mean business. Because when you're cursed, you don't want to allow her to be in a position where she has, uh. Where she would otherwise have an advantage. She still has an advantage because you're cursed, but it's not as bad as it could be. So, I'm gonna pop the, um. Ow. Right after this, I'm uncursed. Which puts me in a position where I can just kill a Lowie should she stick around. On top of that, Amumu's coming in, so it's going to be even easier. I'm 
gonna uh, use my Q there to make sure I can get all of these minions. Because it does reset if you do uh, get a kill on whatever you're attacking with it. I'm just gonna walk up to her and stun her. And then a Moomy's gonna come in and he's gonna land. There we go. So, that was a win win situation for me, not so much for a Moomoo, because if a Moomoo's thing got flashed, the person lived for no repercussions. Um, but for me, it was a win win. Because if Alawi flashed, I knew I was safe to kill her once I queued her. It's our blue buff. Thank you. I'm gonna go mess with Fizz here. Shaco does know, so which means Fizz knows. Ah, oh, I went for the wrong Shaco. That was my bad. I should have known it was the wrong Shaco after I started chunking him very hard and he didn't do anything about it. Mm, but I suppose that it is what it is. Anyway, we are going to pick up a cloth armor here. Because if you look at their team, outside of Fizz, they have no AP damage. Because... Alawi's attack damage, Shaco's attack damage, and Misfortune's attack damage. So it's much more efficient for me to go for this, especially with the way Shaco works. Because he's going to be auto-attacking twice. Um, technically, because of the way uh, his clone is. Clone does damage. Unlike in uh, Warcraft 3, where your clone doesn't do damage when you play Blade Master. Cross-game reference. Sorry, I just love that game. Anyway, distractions and... Other foolery aside. Um, looks like a Lowie is mid. Which means we're actually going to use our ultimate here to push the wave. You do want to do that. Um, if you're split pushing on Irelia. And no one's going to come deal with you for a little bit. Or you don't think anyone is going to. Anyway, you want to use your ultimate. Because your ultimate will clear a wave. Just, that's a simple truth. Your ult clears waves. And then you want to... Obviously clear that wave to push the minions to the tower. So even if you don't get any damage on the tower yourself, at least the enemy minions are dying to that tower. Or, well, your minions are dying to the tower. Which means... Whoever would be coming top top lane, normally, is where you split push. Um, you can split bottom as well. But whoever would be coming to get those minions can't get them because they're dead. Just not going to get hit with that. Good. So I can't fight Alawi anymore, despite the fact that she's 0-4. Me being cursed is such a huge advantage for her that she is simply not fightable. And it sucks a lot. <laughs> um, but it's just the way it is. That's the way Alawi is as a champion. And you just have to play around it. Frustrating, yes. No, you're not killing this. I'm gonna flash out here so I don't die. Damn. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Even if you get ahead of a Lowie, the way her champion is designed is that she can bully you anyway. And it looks like Fizz is um fizzing. And by fizzing I of course mean getting fed because that's what Fizz does. Gonna pick up a dagger and uh this. I don't know, TV back to lane. Hopefully I can get here in time. I can. Nice. She should not have turned around there. I probably would have caught her considering I have tier 2 boots and she has tier 1s. But her turning around only sealed her fate. So it was definitely not a good choice on her part. Unfortunately, because I TP'd back to lane to kill a lot, I can't TP down here to help my team. But did Misfortune just run into that tower? Man, if that... That threshold did not come out when it did. That was a poorly used ultimate by me. Should have aimed it at the wave and not what I was auto-attacking. Oh well. Not a huge deal. So we are going to be able to get the tower here. And we are 420 because we are blazing it of course. For those of you who don't get it, it's a, it's a joke. It's a pop culture reference. 
And Alau is Oven 5, so hopefully we can put her in a big enough hole to the point where she's not going to be useful. And I'm just going to protect the fake me, because I don't really think Alawi can fight me. So, looks like the fake me is going to go away now. Nice. I'm going to put a word down here, because this is probably the best place to put a word when you're split pushing top lane. Gives you the most vision. Um, in my opinion. I don't know. Exactly. Alright, I have to go. Um, otherwise she's just gonna... Jesus! God! Ugh, I'm so upset by that death. Unfortunately, that's the one problem with Alawi. Even though she's 0-5, she can still just destroy you like that. And it's... It's not fair. It isn't. It's... It's just not fair, um, the way a champion can come back like that. Unfortunately, that's the way Riot made the game, and there's nothing we can do about it. Personally, I hate Alawi. I hate that champion very much. Because they're just so frustratingly difficult to play against that it's just not fun. Um, that's my opinion. Poor on the PJ Salt, I just hate Alawi. Um, fortunately, without her ultimate, she's... I don't want to say useless, but she's she can't contest with me. Um, as for what I could have done to outplay that, I could have not gone up to her, but I didn't think she'd have her alt to be honest. I'm gonna use my alt here, help clear up the wave faster. So some people like to go rage blade on Irelia. Um, they just get the chain and then go Rage Blade. And that's not a bad build. I just want to go Trap Force this game since Trap Force is a little safer than Rage Blade. And it does give you more burst it, um, in exchange for less sustain damage. Looks like Shaco is going to die. But Fizz is on his way and he's the real problem. Wait, is Lavi also down there? Yeah, she is. She flashed out though, so she's, she's pretty much done, I think. Ugh, Fizz. Fizz, the bane of solo queue. Just gets so strong so fast. Ooh, looks like Brand Passive is gonna take out Fizz. That's good. Cause Fizz is... Fizz is gonna make or break their game. With how successful he is at the moment. Uh, whereas... I, I wanna say our lead is more distributed, but it's... It's truthfully not distributed. Theirs is amongst... Yeah, no. We don't even have a distributed lead. Well, I mean, I guess we do, but so do they. Just drop that word there while I'm stealing blue buff from Shaco. And I feel safe to do this. The only reason I wouldn't feel safe is if I didn't know where Shaco is, but I'm watching him. So I'm gonna wait for... No, I'm not gonna wait for him. That's pointless. Hopefully my team does dragon with Shaco being up here. Oh my god. I'm so awful. I just did that on a minion. So I wonder where actual Shaco is. There's a Lowie. Yeah, alright. I can kill a Lowie though. I can kill... Allow it very easily, actually. I can even kill the Shigo. Okay. Dodging that, that's important to dodge. So, I think they're gonna try to toy with me, but I think I can outplay them. Which is why I'm not really afraid. And I know there's a Shigo box here. And I know that's why she's... Hovering that area. I need to kill her when she's away from that. I can actually... Yeah, I think I'll be able to turret dive her. I think so. That... Okay, she... Alright. I mean, that was... That's the only thing that was going to stop me from diving her. Now it's down for... 30 seconds. So that's good. Forgot about that Chico box. 
Oops. Ow, why did I run back into that? That was dumb. I can fight her, I think. After I'm done being cursed, though. Wow, that was a very immediate ult. Are I gonna kill her? Oof. If I would have dodged his um, flip flop, I could have stunned him. All right. So with how fed their fizz is, I need match resist. So I'm actually gonna pick up a hex drinker and a specter scowl. Now this might seem a bit overdoing it. That is a lot of magic resist for one guy, and maybe I am overdoing it just a tad. But there are three champions in this game that truly make me upset. Um, those three champions are Fizz. Alawi and Nautilus. I don't know. Something about a champion coming from the ocean just triggers me. Um, I hate Fizz because he can just flip flop out of everything. I hate Alawi because he can put her in a hole and she still does a shit ton of damage. And I hate Nautilus because you just can't do anything. He just walks up to you and just smacks you with a smacks you with an anchor. And then you just can't move. So, that's my complacent. No, I think complacent hit. Hmm. That's my complaints. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. Now, that way he wants to fight me, and I'm not entirely sure why. Alright, that's why. I'm assuming that's why, anyway. I'm just gonna run away from you. I don't want to try to fight you. I could have fought you earlier if my stun was up earlier. Um, but at this point, with how much more health he has than me, it's too risky to just out and fight him. If he pushes up to the tower and tries to dive me, I might be able to do it. But mm. even then, it's a little too risky for my blood. Although, if he tries to finish me off with his um. Throwing knife. I do have Hex Drinker, so that would block that. So that would be one advantage I'd have. Anyway, we are 6 4 now, so we're not doing too bad. We have 190 CS, that's pretty good. We're gonna ult to push out this wave. I don't know where Alawi is. Maybe the box will just go piss off. It was part of my fringe, of course. It, that wasn't French. That was also a, a joke. Ha ha. Ha. He he. Pardon my French things. People where I live say when they say something inappropriate. They say, oh, pardon my French. Because it's an excuse that it's a foreign language and not a bad word. So yeah. A really awkward explanation of an idiom that probably didn't need to be explained aside. Split pushing. Woo. Alright, I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna go steal uh this blue buff it's here. Fizz, good. Fizz uh Fizz got a another kill. Good. And there we go. That is a uh, that's a plate of platter platter of calamari right there. Um, just for you, cut up freshly on my hibachi uh, hibachi hidden style. And now we're just gonna push this tower because this is this is the life of a top laner. You just you see the objective and you take the objective. And this is actually a perfect game for split pushing, um, because of the way my team is playing. Because they're just strong enough to 4v4, and they could probably 4v5 as long as Lucian doesn't get blown up by Fizz instantly. I'm probably gonna get played here. I'm very dead. Yeah, I knew I was dead. 
Um, there was no way around it. As soon as Thrush came, I'm like, well, I'm not going to be able to run away. And I'm not going to be able to do anything else. So here I'm going to finish my maw and then pick up a Warden's Mail. So I now have armor, magic resist, and a little bit of health, along with a lot of damage. So hopefully we should be able to do some more... Or get away with some more shenanigans. Now that we've pushed top lane to the extent that it's been pushed, our next goal is going to be pushing bottom lane. Um, so that's just how that is. Looks like Alawi's going to ult very prematurely, though. Uh, with Alawi, your ultimate does way more for your team. The more people uh, that it hits. So, if you can avoid only hitting one person with your ultimate on Alawi, that's great. Because, um, basically, Alawi's ult makes tentacles and that beat people up. The more people you hit with your ultimate, the more tentacles it makes that beat people up. So, if you, um, if you create a lot of tentacles by hitting a lot of people, that's good. If you don't create very many tentacles by only hitting one person, that's not good. Now, I hope none of you are offended by how simple I made that sound, but... I like to be very straightforward when I'm explaining a concept. Um, because I don't want to confuse people with stupid wording. Because I do word things very stupidly, very often. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to use our ultimate to push out that thing, because... Quiz. Why do we use our ultimate to push out waves on Irelia? Good job! It is because... When there's nobody coming for you in a split push, you can push out a, and instantly kill a wave with your ultimate. Good job. Give yourself a sticker. Am I gonna get... Okay, there it is. There's a Lowie. I'm like, I know better than to just think Thrash is gonna try to fight me, but I'm still curious as to who's coming. Oh my god, I forgot about that part. I was it honestly wasn't close though. It's so, like if we're being realistic. It's similar to the fashion that uh none of this has been close. I I wanna dive that. I'm not going to because it's an awful decision, because he can just hook me while I'm flying and then flay me and then I'm crying because in truth I'm dying. And I saw Fizz go into that bush and I just don't give a frank. Man, that was close to rapping there, but unfortunately, I'm awful at that, so I'm not gonna, not gonna rap. Alright, that was interesting. I don't know why he used this either way he did. I don't know why he used it at all, being honest. Okay, that's gonna be one death. I'm not going to chase Fizz, that's just stupid. Fizz is just going to get away with his flip or flop, so no reason to chase him down. And if they come down, Fizz is... I don't think Fizz can kill me with uh, the amount of match resist that I have. And Misfortune will just die, so... Come here. Oop. I'm not going to dive him though, he's Fizz. Don't die, Fizz. That's a, always a bad idea. And now we can probably just get out of here. I don't want to leave Lucian alone, but I also don't want to stay. So good luck, Lucian. That's why I don't want. To, that's why I didn't want to leave Lucian alone. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just run away here. Um. Yeah, that's why. I knew I was going to die to him. So I thought, hey, maybe I'll get away. I didn't get away. So on that back, because it wasn't a death, uh, we were able to finish our frozen heart and our spirit's message. So that's going to be very good for us. As for what we buy next, might be more damage, to be honest. We're very, very far ahead. Um, I think we're going to get the Steric's Gage. It'll give us a little more health, which is good. 
uh, and then it'll make us tankier when we're closer to death, so that also synergizes both with your maw. It'll also give us damage, which is good. Well, I like damage. But we're not going to sell our flask until we can afford a Jarm's Fist. Because our flask, flask f f gives us good... The bottle gives us good combat stats. Let me tell you what. There are three things I struggle with. And they're English. Ah, uh, do, do you get my joke? Because I said three things, but it's only one. Because I don't get English. <laughs> See, I point out my jokes to you because they don't sound funny to me. But I figure if I point them out, maybe someone's lame enough that they'll find them funny. Oh, God. Yeah, but yeah, generally, if a joke's not funny to you, that's not a good sign, so you probably shouldn't say it. But, I mean, I'm an idiot, so I don't follow my own advice. Do as I say, not as I do. There we go, just gonna cue everything. And then we're just probably just gonna... And then that's it. There we go. It's another death. Wow, a Moomoo flashing that wall. I mean, I'll hand it to him. It was pretty bold of him. Don't know what he wanted to get done, but it was bold. Alright, I have no idea where he went. I mean, I don't, I don't particularly mind, but I don't know where he went. I'm gonna pop my flask here and just gonna... Goodbye, Miss Fortune. Is it gonna go for... There he is. Whew! Man, that was hard. Alright, looks like this is gonna be the end of the game, everybody. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Um, really, really appreciate the viewership. And if you enjoyed what you saw, you could subscribe. If you don't enjoy what you saw, you could tell me why you don't enjoy it. So next time, I can make my videos even better. Have a nice day. Goodbye.